big up to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. I spend more time at my desk than I do with Beth and in my bed combined. In the last 12 months, working from home has meant that having a clear and beautiful space that delights us and gives us this clarity of thought has never been more important. Since the pandemic started, Beth and I have been moving around quite a lot, as you may have noticed, but now we have finally settled down in our new house, I've spent quite a bit of time and made some more significant investments to make my workspace just that bit more satisfying to be in. So my last desk setup was a reflection I think of the fact I wanted to have a really nice productive space without spending too much money as a student and I see the money I've spent since then as an upgrade rather than a radical shift to Ali Abdal's baller life. I've invested where I felt it would really make a difference and I've got to say I now love sitting and standing at my desk more than ever. So hopefully you can take just a few ideas from this video to help turn your desk into somewhere that looks absolutely sick and feels just amazing to be in, a quality space where we can produce quality work. And just so you know, I'll have links to all the products featured in this video in the description, so do check those out. And some of the links are affiliate links too, so help support my channel. So let's do this. All right, so first thing to go in has to be the desk. And this is, other than my laptop, by far the most expensive item of them all. My old desk from my last video was a standard large IKEA desk, but I'd heard rave reviews from people I know who have sit-stand desks, so decided to take the plunge and try out this bad boy. The Yo-Yo Desk Pro 2 from sitstand.com. I have the extra large 180 centimeter version as I love space with a walnut finish, which I think looks really, really good. It has this deeper, richer, more mature vibe in my opinion. Now relative to your bog standard desk, they are pretty expensive. This is three or four times the cost of my old desk, but honestly, I believe the extra expense is 100% worth it. The ability to, you know, spend an hour or so in the morning and then a couple of hours in the afternoon when you feel that afternoon slump hitting, standing rather than slumped over your keyboard. The desk arrived and the lovely people from sitstand.com built the desk for me. I got the memory up down switch so you can pre set the levels you like. I have one for sitting and one for standing and then just hold the numbers to set it to that level and it automatically moves. It's pretty cool. It can lift up to 100 kilograms and I tested it out using my sexiest pose. At the end of the day, a desk is a desk. Overing flatness, as my old French philosophy supervisor at Cambridge called it. But this is a very, very beautiful piece of hovering flatness with a great finish, tons of space for all the other stuff I like to have on my desk and the ability to stand, which I've genuinely found makes me more productive, ache less and just feel like a bit of a boss is awesome. And the cool people at sitstand.com reached out to me and have given my viewers an exclusive £50 discount code on orders of at least £200. It's Liam50. Alrighty, so first to go on the desk is the oh so sexy Bontech Dual Monitor Mount. For this price, I've actually been very pleasantly surprised by how well built it is. It basically just clamps onto the back of the desk and is then ready for your monitors to be positioned. It also has a neat cable tidy system which does a pretty good job. I then set up my two curved 24 inch Samsung monitors. Since my last setup with just one monitor, the changes to having the arm which raises my monitors up to be at the right height so I'm not straining my neck and having the extra space of dual monitors has been awesome. I think if I could only change one thing from my previous setup, this would be it. Compared with an ultra widescreen monitor likely to cost you upwards of 800 pounds, the dual monitor setup at around 280 pounds all in, that's for both the monitors and the arm, is pretty flipping amazing. Plenty of space to work on, many documents at once, which is pretty crucial in my job as a lawyer, and an overall great starting point for the rest of your desk setup. And for those of you wondering how on earth this magic works projecting my Mac onto two screens, you just need two adapters for your Mac or one if you have a laptop with an HDMI port. They're both USB-C to HDMI adapters, but one of these has other USB-B and memory card ports for getting files off my camera and using memory sticks with my Mac. Next stop, Jennifer. 
named. For those of you still wondering after my childhood crush on Jennifer Aniston, who turns out is comfortably old enough to be my mother. Nonetheless, a bit of green on what is otherwise a quite brown, grey and black desk. And then, beautiful atop my monitors sits the BenQ screen bar. And I mean, I've had it for over a year and legit think it's worth every penny of the slightly crazy £89 price tag for a desk light. But normal lamps focus on just one area and this lights the whole of your desk so you kind of forget you even have it on. I generally leave it on pretty much all day, every day, meaning I don't ever have to turn the light on in the room. It has a sensor so it will auto adjust brightness if you want it to, or you can manually adjust both brightness and warmth. I have it set pretty white with just a touch of yellow. So yeah, legit highly recommend this one. Then if you do go for an external monitor or two, it'll mean your laptop speakers are pretty much out of action. So I got the Votomy Bluetooth speaker. They're waterproof so I can take it in the shower with me on a morning to listen to my audiobooks. And it doubles up nicely as a speaker when I want to watch a vid on my monitors. I've also recently added a standard IKEA lamp. This is the Finstar to my desk to give it a nice warm glow in the evening. I definitely wouldn't go back to just having this, having had the BenQ screen bar, but it's useful for background lighting in my videos and yeah, just generally looks pretty good for how cheap it is, I think. Plus, it's part of my smart desk lighting setup, so stay tuned for that later in the video. After the lamp, we have my trusty extra portable wireless charger and wallet both of which featured in my last desk setup video. And I'd say that's a pretty good reflection of the fact I really do love this wallet. I do still take a disproportionate amount of pleasure, which I then desperately have to try to hide from the look on the cashier's face when you pop out your cards and slip them back in again. <laughs> I keep it on my desk for the inevitable draw of a Black Friday deal, but I also love how sleekly it fits into a jean or suit jacket pocket. Okay, and now we move into some slightly more extravagant purchases. First up, the Logitech Craft keyboard at £160. Now the astute among you will remember my last desk setup video where I took the piss out of Ali Abdal for spending so much money on keyboards and said I'd never be able to justify spending £100 on a keyboard. And my old Cinder keyboard and mouse for £40 did do the job, but I figured if there's one thing in my career as a lawyer I'm about to use an awful lot, it's a keyboard and a mouse. So I bought this when I started working at Clifford Chance as a kind of treat to myself. Maybe you're thinking, well, why not buy an Apple Magic keyboard? Well, I needed this to work effortlessly across both Macs and Windows computers. And this comes with these three magic buttons that allow you to instantly switch between the devices you're connected to across both Windows and Mac. Overall, it is a delight to use. I think it's maybe type faster even with my old man typing style. This one comes with this kind of fancy knob on it, which is the only difference between this and the Logitech MX Keys keyboard that costs £100. The extra £60 for just the funky touch sensitive dial is probably a bit overpriced, but it is kind of cool. So, you know, up to you. I'll link to both in the description. And the handsome partner to my sultry Logitech keyboard is the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse. Again, it works with my Mac and Windows laptops, is really easy to switch between them, feels insanely good in your hand, slides across pretty much any surface without needing a mouse mat, and has functionality you kind of don't know you need until you have it. So scrolling allows you to scroll slowly line by line or quickly through tens of pages at a time. You can easily switch between desktops and apps by just swiping and use the thumb wheel to zoom or change pages. Nonetheless, it's 99 pounds for a mouse. I'll leave you to decide in the comments whether or not I've lost my grip on reality. Okay, next up, my old trusty Bose QuietComfort 35 noise cancelling headphones. If you've ever watched one of my videos before, I probably bought these at some point. I still reckon these are my favourite piece of tech going. I should explain that I really suck at working when there is any other background noise or talking going on, so if that's on a Zoom meeting, I just pop these on and along with my reading playlist, bam, work mode and deep focus returns. When I was studying from home, being able to make coffee while in a lecture was absolutely glorious using the Bluetooth. And since I've been working from home, the mic quality on these is easily good enough to be on any work call. Plus music sounds epic. 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. 
And if you're kind of a tidy freak like me, you'll want somewhere to store all the little bits and bobs that would be scattered all over your desk. The Orbit Key Nest is a cute little desk tidy with a built-in wireless phone charger, hence the price tag and you can keep all your charging cables inside it. Plus, if you're ever heading into the office, if that ever happens again, you can load it with stuff from your desk and pop it in a backpack and bam, you're away. And talking of being a tidy freak, I'm also a bit of an organization freak, which is why years on since I was gifted it for my 21st birthday, I'm still using my leather Filofax to make daily to-do lists and keep my life in order. I take stuff from my to-do list in Trello and list those out for each day. I love that I can cross things off when I do them and simply move the stuff I don't have time for with a quick arrow over to another day. And now for you stationery lovers, first up my Moleskin A5 notebook. I must confess that this is brand new, it just looks pretty for the video, but I do always keep a notebook on my desk to jot things down in. I'm currently using the Clifford Chance one I was given when I started work there. I also keep several four-way biros to hand at all times. Here you see the standard shiny and transparent biros. I'm not quite a collector yet, but getting there. Four pens in one each a different colour and cheaper than you'd think. Need I say more? And then post-its because I forget things. And now an old favourite, my book stand. I still keep this on my desk for a splash of colour and I do use it to hold my Filofax or a book I'm using to work on for a new video or just to display my favourite books. P.S. You can get a copy of the rules of revision through the link on screen now. Another splash of colour is provided by my cool camper van coasters, one for water, one for coffee. I have absolutely no idea where these are from, so if you find them somewhere on the internet, let me know. Next, a real luxury that I think adds a huge amount of classy je ne sais quoi to my desk. It is decadent, superfluous, but so beautifully made. The Grove made walnut and black leather headphone stand. It does feel weirdly satisfying having your headphones hanging next to you, and I really do think the handmade craftsmanship of these justifies it as a quality present from either a loved one or yourself. And to accompany that, two other Grove made items. First, the medium black leather desk pad, which is kind of like a giant mouse mat, helping your Logitech mouse glide even more effortlessly around your desk and visually dividing your desk up. And second, a wee matching walnut pen pot, again beautifully handmade. And last but not least, my smart desk equipment, which if you've seen my moving in video, you'll know I get very excited about. First up, the fourth generation Echo Dot, which I got for just £28 in the Black Friday sales. This connects to my pretty awesome desk lights, as you'll see in just a sec, lets me turn off the music I've left playing upstairs. Alexa. Turn off the music in the living room. <sighs> Can play a mid-morning spot of jazz over coffee, alert me when there's someone at the door upstairs, or most importantly, let me hoover without moving a muscle. Alexa, turn on Bertie. <laughs> Life goals complete. So smart lighting then comes into play and as I've decided I actually quite like the warm glow of my desk lamp, I haven't changed that to a smart bulb. Instead, I've used the Tekin smart plug, which lets me turn the lamp on and off with Alexa. I've then added some Tekin smart strip LED lights around the edges of my desk to give a colored hue. I like this blue. That again looks pretty damn cool if you ask me. I've synced these up to a group in the Alexa app called Liam's Desk, which lets me turn everything on and off in one go. Alexa, turn off Liam's Desk. And there's two final items I very quickly want to mention. First, my IKEA desk chair. Both Beth and I have the IKEA Marcus chair and I really <laughs> highly recommend. Second, I want to give a quick shout out to my new extra laptop case. It's again, really, really beautifully made and complements my wallet perfectly for when I'm on the go. So yeah, that is my beautiful new sit stand desk setup. And now I'm ready to get work editing videos or making my website even better. And I do that using Squarespace, today's sponsor. 
Squarespace is the powerful and beautifully easy to use platform I use to make my own website. Now there are tons of amazing mobile responsive templates. It has tons of features from email campaigns to e-commerce. So you can like me sell your PDF notes, t-shirt designs, posters, or well, just about anything. They have online booking and scheduling if that's what your business needs and their website analytics are amazingly easy to use and learn from. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Liam Porritt, it's P-O-R-R-I-T-T, to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain.